Okay, so your cover story in the Observer was about CM Punk, and as I was reading it, there's ideas for him to have all these different matches, and one of them mentioned was was Roman Reigns, and that makes a hundred percent total sense. No, I mean, I mean, unless something happens, it's going to happen. You know, I don't. I, I, my impression is it's not going to be rushed, but you know, it's it's going to happen at some point. But as I was reading it. I started to think about this and it's funny because as I was reading that story, I also got an email with some gambling odds about CM Punk and WWE. <laughs> and my thought was, do you want to get the big stuff out early knowing his recent history? Because it if is, you wait, you may never get to it. It's a great argument. Um, you know, everyone goes with the idea that, that, um, you know, it's it's eternity and things can you know it's not even temper tantrum you can get hurt yeah you know you get hurt and everything is thrown out so um there is that argument plus you know you have to see like like he'll be hot you know for for a time and then what will happen after that i mean i don't know you know i mean in aw like you know he was he was pretty hot until june but when he came back the second time um, I mean, it's not like he wasn't a draw. He was always a draw. Even when he came back the third time, he was a draw, but, um, but not to the extent of the first time, you know, not even close. So you, you don't know how long it's going to last. And with WWE, you know, I mean, everything's, there's all kinds of variables. Luckily for WWE, it really doesn't matter. You know I mean? If something happens, that's the whole thing is like punk punks leaving hurt AEW, you know, I mean, or his, his firing hurt AEW in a lot of ways. Um, if something happens with him in WWE, WWE and he's gone, it's really not going to hurt WWE at, at, at all. I mean, minor, you know, a little bit. They'll sell less T-shirts and things, but it's not going to be like, you know, their ratings aren't going to suddenly go down and their live attendance isn't going to go down if something, if there's a blow up of punk. So, you know, it's, it's you know, they're, they're not as beholden to him. He is not as, uh, you know, and, and I think he knows that. And I think that's why he's not going to try and do and i and i don't want to like you know blame him if you're given power you use the power he was given power he won't get that power in in, in wwe he'll, he'll have some power because he's a draw every draw does mm -hmm. but he won't have the kind of power he had with with tony khan i mean he won't yeah so there was also a story i don't know a couple days ago of a match that i had actually asked you about a few months ago when all of this stuff broke uh, came out and i was because i was thinking if you if you could get Austin back for one match, would it be mm. Punk based off of that video game thing that they did 10 years ago, sure. which created a lot of interest? And then I saw the the story that had come out about yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't I mean I as soon as that story came out, I heard from a bunch of people who were pretty close in. And they basically said, you know, probably shouldn't be doing that one or 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 worrying about that one because it's there's basically, you know. It's it's not anything that anyone's talked about to any degree. I mean, it could happen and it makes sense. And maybe, you know, I mean, Austin's comments of late make it sound like it literally has to be the perfect project for the exact right amount of money for him to even really think about it. Well, the money will be there. So that's not an issue. The issue is the age, the condition and how much time. And, you know, we're in December. Does he feel it's enough time? He's not going to go out there to embarrass himself. We've established that. It's just a matter of his motivation and everything like that. Um, you know, but I mean, it, you know, as of right now, he hasn't been approached. So, I mean, he's not in on, he is not in. And um, I mean, not saying he, he won't be. And that is not their direction. Not saying that, you know, like, like, it, it, let's like, hey, some people thought, thought the same thing you did. Hey, maybe we could do it. And maybe you can, you know, just right now it's, um, I would just say it's premature. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say it's not. It's never going to happen. And, um, you know, I mean, as far as with Mania, like, I don't know if the Seth thing is for Rumble or, or for Mania, but the Seth thing is the the big one for now. Right. The Reigns thing is the big one for, for later. And, you know, where Austin would fit in or wouldn't fit in, you know, might be, you know, a year from now and sounds like a good idea and have more time or maybe, you know, I suppose you could do it at Mania. I mean, there's there's nothing off limits about it. It's not like it couldn't be done. Yeah, yeah, no. I, it just it's just one of those, you know, what matches do they still have as possible dream matches that are out there? That's just the way that I was looking at it. 
Yeah. I think honestly, right now that, that, that reigns with Heyman and everything like that might be bigger than a one-off with Austin. Cause with Austin, it's kind of like this exhibition nostalgia thing, which still could be big, but with reigns, it's kind of like current, you know, current big thing. And, you know, um, but whatever, you know, again, I mean, there's so much with punk that we, we don't know, you know, I mean, again, like what he did in the ring in AEW is one thing. WWE is a different style. And that, it might be easier for him. It might be harder. I don't know, you know, um, and how many times he's going to work. And, you know, again, you know, will his body hold up? I mean, there's all these questions we don't know. And and the age and, you know, I mean, all kinds of, it's all kinds of variables here. He did mention the wise man, which I'm mm -hmm. sure was intentional. For he sure. Did, he did mention Dusty Rhodes in that, which I'm sure was you know somewhat possibility to to be related to cody in some way just to bring that yeah people yeah to talk about that yet i saw cody's response as um i know you know that the stories and the the the, the stuff about the so-called my buddies because they are his buddies you know um you know had the problems with him so you're gonna do your fantasy feud and i i saw his comment of like welcome back is like you know fuck you you know i'm not doing your <laughs> fantasy feud i got my own i got my own stuff to do you know and 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 you know sticking up for the young bucks and i mean that's the, the funniest part of the young bucks thing uh, actually is that this second run or third run the third run of cm punk okay you know they never worked together but the young bucks did work with with um ftr obviously in london and we're supposed to at full gear and whatever happened there happened there you know but um it's like all of this stuff with Jack Perry and all this, I mean, it's like, I think people, because of, you know, um, um, you know, people trying to look for agendas and this and that, you know, it's like somehow the young bucks were in this and it's like, I don't even know where that comes from. You know? I mean, it was like, was there an issue with Ryan Nemeth? You know? Yeah. Jack Perry. Yeah. Um, he banned Daniels, you know, from the show, which is a different story altogether. Um, they had to the Adam Page thing, which, which, you know, who knows what the exact story is. I just know that he was not allowed in the building when they were planning on doing a this short vignette with him in the building that he drove to. And then they said, yeah, we'll do it somewhere else because we want to we don't want to um, compromise the piece or whatever the word is that he was told. And his friend said that, uh, oh, we didn't even know. Um, other people said that they did. You know, who knows? Whatever. You know, there was, I, I don't know of, of where the Young Bucks and everything even fit into any of this. You know, they barely, I mean, they did fit into the other one before because they were in the fight. But even then, you know, the whole thing of, oh, the Young Bucks are spreading all this stuff. And it's like, man, they never spread nothing to me. You know, I mean, it's like, it was, it was, you know, Punk said it, you know, and I guess that people took his word, but I told Punk it wasn't true too. But, you know, mm -hmm. he's, his, his situation, I mean, maybe he, just refuses to believe that um maybe you know and he hasn't said anything since who knows who knows what he thinks it's different you know it's, it's water under the bridge it's it's history but like again like the you know when i get the stuff of oh you know this stuff with the young bucks and it's like i don't even know what the hell they have to do with any of this you know at all you know when it comes to punk now you know right I mean, there was a fight a year ago it happened you know and uh they didn't end up working together you know if things had gone different they probably would have Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.